What's up guys? Storm Chaser Z here today with another achievement guide for the Petite Adventure. This is a easy 10 minute completion. It can become difficult at times. As of this time of recording, this game is currently on sale for $3.99 and you can get it on discount on the Xbox store. The first few levels is all we have to do for this game and I'm going to have walk you through them. So on the first level it's Drift King. Uh, the controls are a bit wonky right now. I don't know if they're going to change this or anytime soon, but this one you want to just go ahead and go to these little circular arrows and you want to drift. So usually for me, I usually use the right bumper and the A button or right bumper and the left bumper on my controller. So you want to get that one. You also want to get the second one, which is this one right here. Once you've gotten that one, you want to go ahead and go past the microwave with the pans here and you'll find your third one. As you can see, my controls are a little bit wonky, and this game has been difficult for a lot of people. So you want to go ahead after that is when you want to go around the sink. Once you're behind the sink, you want to go ahead and go to this one right here, and this is your final one for the first level. Now I want to mention that you can get a gold medal, but I'll get to that when we get to the level that's the easiest one. So that one completes the first level. Now we're on to the second one, and this one is all about popping the balloon. So what you need to do in order to get this one correctly is you just kind of want to go around in circles here and drift as much as you can. Do not let the balloons fall off the table because if they fall off the table you have to restart. So once you get all these balloons, you'll complete this level and you should get an achievement for this one. As you can see, my balloon almost went off right there. So you want to be very careful. So definitely take your time on this one. And you might have to spend a little more time than I did on this video initially, just to get used to the controls. Like I said, they are very wonky. This one's a little different than most games lately. So you may have some difficulty with the controls and it can become very frustrating at times. That one will be our finale for that level, so you want to go ahead and move on to the next level, which is the third level. This one's pretty difficult. I mean, it can be sort of simple, but it's pretty straightforward. You just want to collect all the coins. So just make sure you try not to fall off the edge. Like I said, you'll have to restart if you fall off the edge on most of these levels. So take your time. Go slow here, especially. Turn around. I find it easier if I took my time. I try to get all the coins at the same time, and of course, it just doesn't work as easily. The faster you play this, the more chances there are you are not going to make the level. For instance, on the first time I played this, I actually went right off the map right here, so you just want to take the time to get over to the other side. And once you get your final coin, that will complete that level. And then we want to move on to the fourth level. This one is the simple golf level. This is the one you want to try for the gold achievement for the getting a gold in a level. So for this one you just have to get the golf ball to the pin and you only have to do it in 10 seconds. So if you get this ball here in 10 seconds or less you will get your gold achievement. Of course I fell off the edge and I still managed to get the gold. Now on to the fifth level. This one is a uh, bit of a challenge, but it's not nearly as challenging as the other ones. This one you just need to take your time, and you'll see these little pieces of trash right here. You want to go ahead and knock these off the table. Just make sure you uh, do not allow your vehicle to like, go off the table as well here, because like I said, you will have to restart every time you fall off. So you just want to take your time, push each one off the edge. So you have these here, and then you have this final one here. As you see, I just about went off the edge there. And we, after that, we want to go ahead and go on to the next level, which is level 6. And this one's a little tougher. This one requires you to drift your car in order to hit the cones and destroy them. But the trick is to not hit the cone with your vehicle, because every time you hit the cone with the vehicle, you will fail this mission. So. Be sure not to fall off the table, as well as make sure you don't touch the cones. The cones themselves are, can only be touched by your laser. 
And like I said, this one is very difficult. This is probably one of the more difficult ones in this. But once you get this done, you'll be that much closer to the end of the game. And with that last cone, that's the last one of our easy ones that we want to do this way. So you do not want to click next level, you want to go back to the main menu. Once you're at the main menu, you want to go ahead and start the game, so we can go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. So click on easy, and go down to level 8. Now this one is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is knock down all the dominoes, and go ahead and take your time. Try not to fall off the edge, but it doesn't matter if the dominoes go off the edge. Just make sure you just knock them all down. And once you have this, you'll have your next achievement. And that was the final domino, and on this next one we want to go ahead and back out to the main menu again, and now we want to go ahead and get the last two achievements, which are for completing level 9 and 16 in medium difficulty. To get the medium difficulty, you want to go down here and click on medium, click on level 9. And on level 9, you just have to get the golf ball to the pin. This one's pretty straightforward. Just slowly take the vehicle and kind of just hover behind it and just kind of guide it. It's not very easy to fail this one, but you, you can in some ways. But you want to just kind of just slowly push the golf ball all the way to the other end. And the pin is on the other side of the table. You can use these golf cues guide your ball and once you get to the pin there you should get your achievement for that level once again go ahead and back out to the main menu and we want to go ahead and get our final achievement here this one is for level 16 of medium so go ahead and click on start game click on medium and then go to level 16. Now once we're on level 16, this one is possibly the most difficult one in the whole game. You have to go from table to table in this room and use the drip lasers as previously before and it's the same as the other levels. You also have to jump across these tables, which it can be treacherous. I ended up failing this one at least two or three times. This part especially was a difficult one because you have to hit it just right and trying to drift while on top of these tables in such a little room can make it real easy to fall off the edge. And there you have it, that's the last cone and now you guys should have your final achievement for this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and I hope that it helped you. I hope that you guys found this video helpful, if it did leave a comment below and a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. As always, take her easy.